Good morning. I thought I would give you a shot of our campsite. I'm going to try to just spin around here and show you where we are. Yep, we stayed at the rest stop last night and worked out really well. It was a little um, loud in the beginning, but then really quieted down. We had a couple of people who stayed with us and in even the freeway um, noise totally cut out in the middle of the night and it was really nice to get up and go into a warm bathroom this morning and wash my face and brush my teeth and so now we're just getting packed up and we're gonna hit the road find some place to have breakfast this is the dam for the Willow River and we were hoping to stay in the um, General Andrews State Forest right here by the dam there's a parking lot um, but I'll show you why we couldn't do that so hopefully you can see here that the water is bypassing the dam. They've had a lot of flooding up here and so um, the water has carved out a path around the dam and that part of the park is not accessible. So they don't even allow you to go up there and maybe you can see um, that the water's coming around pretty quickly and this is why we were commenting yesterday about how the water was flowing really strongly. Um, in the Willow Creek. This is Stanton Lake that the Willow River is flowing out of and you can see, hopefully you can see, it's pretty marshy right now since the water level is down. We're in the Willow, no we're in the um, General Andrews State Forest Campground right now. We're going to use one of their picnic tables to make our breakfast on. This is a beautiful day out, lots of color. Making our breakfast here. It's got us some hot water. And we'll make some hot tea. And we're ready to start our oatmeal. So last night we were looking for a place to camp after we realized we couldn't park by the dam like we had intended. And we drove around this uh, state forest. We didn't want to stay here in the campground. We're cheap. We didn't want to pay for it. And um, <laughs> and so we um, were driving up and down the roads. There's a few roads, but this is really an ATV state forest. So there's a lot of ATV trails and they go on all the roads that they can go on. So even the roads get really um, rough and have a lot of big potholes. And we didn't want to take any chances because there's huge holes with lots of water in them. So we were driving around looking for a place. Um, again, it's an ATV state forest, so all the roads were pretty muddy and big holes with water in them. We were a little leery about driving into those, not knowing just how deep they were. We did find one parking place, but it was full of people with their ATVs, and we're just a little concerned that maybe they were going to stay and party because um, it was starting to get late. And so we checked out a couple places. Nothing really worked out for us, and that's how we ended up at the... Um, highway rest stop and that worked out perfectly for us so after breakfast here we'll decide what we want to do um, did that 20 miles on the Will Munger trail yesterday and Ed thinks that's probably plenty of bike riding for today uh, or at least this weekend and um, so we'll see hopefully we'll have something exciting to show you We're in Moose Lake now. This is Moosehead Lake. We're exploring their city park here. Just gonna walk around a little bit. This is the Moosehead River that flows into Moose Lake. We are on the Sioux Line bike trail right now. We came down the Sioux Line to the Willmonger Trail and hit this really big deep puddle. So we had to backtrack, go back into Moose Lake. There we go. 
and drive around to figure out how to access this trail from the other direction because Ed really, really, really wanted to go on this bridge here and see the view.